What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Uh, Riss family unfollows Quan. Carmen Corey lost court case. Let's get into it. Already started unfollowing Quan on social media and they repost Riss's Bahamas post as support. Now, recently, the Hotel Atlantis, where they stayed at, posted a video of Rissa and Quan and they looked happy. What's up, you guys? Rissa and Quan here. We're at Atlantis and we came to Barbie Boardwalk and Adventure to have some fun. Yes, yeah, we put the boys out here and they're having a the ball. Literally. <laughs> so a lot of people are confused as to what happened to make things change all of a sudden because from the pictures and the videos from the trip, it looked like they were having a good time and they were laughing and they were happy. So a lot of people are confused, including myself. But y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. Carmen and Corey were sued by their previous landlord for missed rent. Well, this morning they lost the case and they now owe the previous landlord $16,000 in Damn. Wait. Nah, he putting himself in a hole. He digging a deeper hole. Rent. Corey admitted in a previous live that he didn't pay the full October rent because him and Carmen didn't stay for the full month in October. Remember, mm. October is the month that they broke up where he packed her stuff and left it mm. outside and then he moved to Miami. But that's not how a lease works. Whether you stay there for one week or one day in October, you still owe for the whole October. So now they're both responsible for paying that $16,000. Sorry. Uh, both. I thought she couldn't get nothing in her name. I thought she couldn't get nothing in her name. $16,000 rent. I'm not going to lie. I leave too. Like, ever. This apartment situation, like, when you move into somewhere, they expect you to pay that rent and then the down payment and all that for your next place. Bro, I ain't got time for that. I don't blame them, to be honest with you. Um, that ain't even what I'm tripping about. I thought she couldn't get her name on nothing. So how's Carmen getting sued too? It's crazy. Did she even come to court? For the whole October. Did so she even know? Now they're both responsible for paying that $16,000. Sorry's girlfriend Maddie. Who so this fool got to deal with that and the other one. And $16,000 ain't a little bit of money. Recently got Corey's name tatted. Post after people got her TikTok deleted. I'm not gonna lie, it sucks I have to go through all of this ridicule and drama all because I fell for someone like my feelings are disregarded and invalidated and it's starting to take a toll on me. Everyone deserves to be happy. Everyone deserves love. Everyone's story is different. Am I the biggest fan of my story? No, but that doesn't mean I should abandon it. I wish this was all different. Funny Mike spoke out about Jessica and Runic pre- if you're going to be with him, deal with it, huh? The end. Obviously, I reported that Rooney really liked Jessica, so he purchased her expensive bag, and she took the bag, but she turned him down. Here's what Funny Mike had to say. Damn. So Funny Mike is Funny Mike is up on here. He's, he's here as a yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah. Hey, look, I'm just here to tell my side of the story. I know what happened, bro. That do it. See, Ronick and Jessica, they was supposed to talk, but he <laughs> but got played. No, I'm <laughs> he and got this other person. He bought the bag. They she just was friends. To to they, they just friends, though. They just friends. Wait, 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 wait. Hold, hold up. This ain't about Jessica and Ronick. You or something? Is this? No, this oh, night. I thought this was about Jessica and Ronick. Let me get off here. No, no, no. So, but yeah, you man, said that Jessica and Ronick went to Jamaica. No, they didn't. No, no. Bro. They was supposed to go to Jamaica, Dick. I told this dumb <laughs> nigga. Say, don't give her the bag till she make it there. His Facts. Just went to Florida and gave her the bag. I said, man, I should back the piss out you, man. <laughs> Bro, you man he, so he said he was in. He said he was in the moment, right? Right. So boom. So days passed, and then oh. he come tell me, man, I got some bad news. I said, what's the bad news? He said she ain't coming. I said, yo, stupid dumb. Oh man. no, Why? she didn't. Now I spent three thousand dollars on that bag. I think it was three to five thousand. And you ain't coming? Shit. I did. Then he looked up. She buying Louis bags for other people. So I, I was like, man, you was a dumbass. They oh. just friends, though. The, and they, no, and he's talking about they just friends, but, man, he was really hurt over that shit. I'm, I watched him like, he was really Hold on, you not going to talk about my manager like that. He was not hurt about that. He kept He was, he was hurt out. about that shit. <laughs> I'm his partner. I, go I, I don't want to convince him to buy the bag. So he Why was, you listen, 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 I said, you know, I said, you know what you should do, bro? You should buy a Louis bag. He said, swear to God. Bro, so, he's he's a trick, so he's a trick. No, he's, a he's trick. not. 
It I mean, ain't chicken no, if no, you got it, y'all. No, listen, it's let me tell you, you I'm going to spill the tea. Let, hold up one second. That's true. He's a trick, but only because he really liked her. Like, all his other girls, they oh. tripping right now because they ain't get shit. Oh. <laughs> So every I mean, time a bag is quite expensive. And uh, three thousand dollars up to five thousand dollars for a bag. I just paid ninety nine dollars for a coach bag. I'm good. Every every time, time, yeah, listen, and look, listen oh every God. time a girl hit him up right now, they bring up a Louis bag or some shit about that. Jessica did a twenty v one and people were shocked this happened. Are you in college? Yeah. Hell no. Hell I can't no. Be educated. No, it's not even that. Like, college guys are hoes. And I know for a fact that you're on campus doing something you're not supposed to be doing. Damn. Damn. I'm on campus studying, child. I'm on campus Damn. studying. Damn. You be going to college parties? No. Nah. Yes, you do. Cap. Someone said in the comments, can't nah, even be educated in this generation anymore. Nah, I'm sick facts. of this generation. You do need a degree. Can't go to school no more. Y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. Duff has a new girlfriend who he invited on his family trip to Mexico. Someone asked Brittany, his baby mama, who was not invited because oh. he bought his new girlfriend. Someone Hold on, let me go back. I said, is this the baby, his baby mom? Dub has a new girlfriend who he no more. Y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. Dub has a new girlfriend who he invited on his family trip to Mexico. Someone asked Brittany, his baby mama, who was not invited. I just want to make it clear. Anybody that does the tongue thing, I hate that shit, bro. I don't care who it is. <laughs> I, uh, in his defense, his tongue ain't white. God is great. He brushed his tongue. Can y'all admit? Let me know if y'all do that. Just <laughs> okay. Because he bought his new girlfriend. Someone said, "Is this the she girl in all the family though. stories next to Dub? His new girl?" Brittany, the baby mama, responded, "Yes." The person responded, "Oh wow, I figured she's actually pretty though. Just hope she isn't with him just to be a part of the family." She's actually pretty. Is crazy. In the money, Brittany responded, "Yes, she's pretty, but that's for him to figure out. I've moved on with my life, and I'll be dropping my new apartment tour soon." Are you okay with Dub bringing around another female already? Or Hold on, where are these videos at? TikTok. Dropping my new apartment. Is that her yes, she's pretty, but that's for him to figure out. I've moved on with my life and I'll be dropping my new apartment tour soon. Are you okay with Deb bringing around another female already, or you actually don't care? I can't stop anything a grown man does. I can't stop anything any grown person does. Just like a grown person couldn't stop nothing that I do. So, to answer the question, no. I don't care if Dejan brings around another female. I have no problem with that. I have no problem with her. As long as my son is getting treated right, we good. Y'all, they've been together forever. And I guarantee Dub is taking good care of that woman. Trust me. She has zero problems and zero sins. Okay? Once something go wrong with that little boy in there, we got a problem. Noonie had this to say when asked about Carmen. I like her. I, I really ain't met Carmen though. Y'all might think I know Carmen personally, but I don't know her personally. But when I see her drop that song, I like when people speak up, you know? I like yep. when people be, be, I like when women show that they can't be fucked with. Like, even me if you too. fuck with me, you can't fuck with me. Like, I love it. you can try to, but you can't. Do I feel like the controller one in the relationships I was in? No, I feel like me, whoever I'm fucking with, is a mutual thing. Like, I'm, if a nigga was right here that I talked to before, he would tell you, like, I'm picky. Like, I'm I'm not controlling. Like, I probably am controlling. Who knows? <laughs> I think, I don't think I am, though. I feel like I let you do what you want to do. Like, when am I getting out of being controlling? I want to see what you do. That's probably my problem. I'm manipulating. I let a motherfucker think I'm okay with everything. I'm just so chill. Whole time. Big mama around here losing her mind. Shot about to crash out. Big mama around here losing her mind. Get ready to walk into the room. Hey, quit coming to get us. <sighs> come on, Jordan. Uh, come on, walk this way, walk straight. So, 
I know. Come on, come on. Leave him alone. He's working. Timu's coolest electric bike that you simply got energetic. Dream, you can't be doing all that when you get in there with the baby being rough. You can't be gentle, say gentle. Show, show, look, show, show. <laughs> you gotta be look, gentle, show them what say you got gentle. Your baby. Here, hold it. Show them what you got your baby. In another yeah. Melanin Mobile moment, did you got it for her baby? Did you pay for that? Hello? So why are you eating it? Quick. Huh? Ma'am, you stealing? <laughs> yes, you is. That's stealing if you open something and eat it and don't pay for it. Uh, that, um, Halo, him so cute. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.